I see is coming. Hey, come on. <laughs> come on, have some more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you sweetheart. Yeah. Oh, good. Candy. Hi, Rudy. What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. I think I might have, Rudy. Come in, come in. Oh, hey, Candy! What's doing? Stan! Or should I call you Lobo? Oh, whatever you please. <laughs> Booby, sit! So, you are not feeling too hot today, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Then well, this happens to the best of us. <laughs> so, what's wrong? Tell your Omi. You know I'll find a solution for it. I don't know if I want to talk about it just yet, Omi. It's just stuff. Dumb, stupid, disgusting stuff. Huh. Trouble, huh? <laughs> uh -huh. Trouble. Trouble everywhere. Yeah, speaking of trouble, I just was talking to you, Omi, about the trouble in the Middle East. Isn't that right? Love me. That is quite the plan for ending all the fighting. Really? What? It's easy. It's a piece of cake. <laughs> easy? What could be easy about getting those people to live together? Those people? See how she talks about your tribe? Those people? Well, what are you going to do? Well, what's your plan? My plan is based on a simple law of physics. Physics? What? You don't think I'm an educated man? No, I didn't say that. Go on. Well, in physics, there is a law that states that you cannot put two objects in the same place at the same time. Oh, so now I see it's quite scientific in German. So here, this is what I propose. The Jews simply have to move. Oh my God, Omi. What, is this so funny? Well, yeah. Very good, Stan. At least you make her laugh. I want you to know, I want you both to know, that I have spent quite a few years of my life thinking about this problem. What do you know about that? You learn something new about people all the time. Maybe if Kissinger was still working in the government, you could have brought this idea to him. Now look here, if you study this problem, you will see that um, for a while, every now and again, the Arabs and the Israelis can live in peace. But before long, they will go right back and uh, hurling rocks and shooting each other. And this is news? Well, no, I am just saying, it will never work the way it is set up. Never! These two immovable objects trying to occupy the same space at the same time. You bring up science again. Yes, it is simply physics. They always will have a conflict over land, over water, over each other. So I say, the Jews just should pack their bag, buy some land and move to Australia. Oh my what a God, crazy God. Call me. Have you ever thought that, heard of something so funny, Candy? But tell me, Australia? Why Australia? Have you ever seen the size of that continent? I'm telling you, it's big, it's damn big. There's plenty of land out there. But the land is given by God to the Jews. Why should they have to move away? Because the Palestinians are too pig-headed to do so. Whoa! Careful, Lobo. Now you're beginning to sound like a bigot. Bigot? You call me a bigot? Then why? You tell me why, you precious little bitch! Why are they fighting for the control over the holy places? The holy places! What holy places even? There's one drop of blood! Can you tell me that? No, you can't! If you shed some blood over something sacred, you desecrate it. It's not holy anymore. Even an uptight school don't judge us, you! You should know that! Do not call me a bigot anymore! Those people, they are out there, they are the bigots, and not me! Oy vey! God help me. I did it again. What's wrong with me? I don't know, something. Something is very wrong. Please listen for just a moment. No! No, Lobo, I don't think so. Nobody talks to me like that. 
Candy, please. I beg you, just give me a minute, one more minute of your time. Maybe you should give him another chance. Okay, fine. But I really have things to do. I have to go. Please, Candy, my outburst had nothing to do with you. I am wrong in the way how I just spoke with you. Very wrong. But I want to let you know that all of this just didn't come out of the blue. For 25 long years, I was working at the State Department, working mid-level laboring in foreign affairs. And you may not believe this, but my area was the Middle East. I spent 12 long years pushing this very idea, this plan. But my boss, this very young lady from Harvard, this bitch, this schickse, she just had it in for me. Yes, I know this is no excuse how I just acted, but when you said I sounded like a bigot, oh, my dear, I saw her face again. I felt the wound she administered me, to me like a... Chinese water torture, year after year, torn from my flesh. So I yelled. I yelled more at her than at you. No, all at her. So you didn't do anything wrong. But let me tell you one thing. The emotional wounds go so much deeper than the physical. They can really drive you crazy. That's... My explanation is weak, and this is no excuse. But I'm sorry, Candy. Very sorry. But you see, I have had things go wrong in my life, too. But the worst is, when you came over to D, you came with your own problems. If there is any justice in this world, I should be taken out back and executed like a Texan. Yeah, well, such is life, huh? So what's bothering you, Candy? Maybe now you're ready to speak? Well, I guess I should tell you before I go, Omi, since it did happen right outside of your apartment. For all I know, you could be in danger. Claudia, is there something happened here? Yeah. What's the world coming to? Omi, do you happen to know the man who lives in that apartment right across the way over there? He's... 5'10", medium height. He's got really dark hair. Hmm, sounds like you're doing the police report. I may well be doing that. This is this beginning to get good? Come on, doll, give us all the de juicy details. Well, I don't know if it's that good, but yesterday when I was here with my video camera, remember when you came? Yes, you were shooting, Helga. I remember I made some comment and uh, you put down the camera. Right, that's exactly what I did. Only what I didn't realize was that the camera was on and it was pointed out the window into that apartment. Uh, and when I went to look at the tape later, I could not believe my eyes, you guys, but it shows a man in that apartment beating a woman with a hammer. Cut him, Hibel. Oh, hello. And I was going to call the police, but my boyfriend didn't let me. Why not? Well, he got me into kind of a jam. A jam? What kind of jam? Not raspberry, I know that. What did I tell you about that piece of bastard? I cursed at him, shlug! Did he do, make you do anything illegal? No, no, not really, but he did involve me in a fraud. Scheisskill! And he's still like Scheisskill! Let her talk! He said that he paid his portion of the mortgage with stolen credit cards. So there, I'm right, he's a bastard. A selfish, uneducated and bastard. And now that he's working on the stone, he's just totally out of his mind. Shigeftoit! And he says that... Hey, Helga, come down! I'm gonna down with my baggy treats my candy like this. He, Please, Helga, let the girl finish! He's just totally flipped out, you guys. He's totally paranoid. He thinks that if I call the police, that somehow they'll find... They'll track him down and find out about the stolen credit Shut. cards. He thinks that they'll actually find out about the stolen credit cards he's been using. And he said he'd get me in trouble with the stolen money he's been using on my mortgage. So I couldn't do anything. But I could hardly sleep last night thinking about what that man did to that woman. It was awful. It is awful. No man should hit a woman with a hammer. Yeah, I know. But if I call the police now, I don't know how this will all turn out. Then I will call the police. I will tell them that I saw the man over there at that window. That way they can only talk to me. Well, this sounds like a good solution here. You better believe it, bastard. Thank you, Amy. Don't mention it, Ken. Good phone. <laughs> 